Hello for guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do bang bubble this morning. Um, I'm making two bang bubbles today. So, yep, yeah, join me how to make it, and then if you like, you can make it as well. Mm -hmm. But anyway, come and I'll show you my ingredients I'm going to be using. Okay, guys, so in this bang bubble, I'm going to need warm milk. Two cups of warm milk and two tablespoons of vegetable oil, uh, three cups of flour. Okay, and this I need it for the for the saucy, the bit bit, tallow for bit bit. That's what we get. Um, it's a salmon business, so uplift to our salmon people. And then I use raw sugar. I'll be using a little bit of that just to put in the bread, you know? And so if you run out of coconut cream on your bun, right, you can still continue on eating the, the bun like a sweet bun, you know? Yeah, some people don't put uh, sugar in their, in their buns, but I think it'll be nice, you know? And then you use the instant yeast, okay? So I'll be putting about, um, probably three, three um, teaspoons of this. Ask me why, I don't have the answer. I just prefer to do it. Oh yeah, so my daughter has a bigger blender, guys. So if you saw my uh, oh my gosh, my poor uh, blender nearly died, nearly died, but lucky, lucky it didn't. So I'm using my daughter's one for today. She was kind enough to let me use it. And let's go guys, let's get this going. So I'll be tipping, I'm, I'm gonna just be showing you guys what I'm doing, okay guys? Don't wanna have you guys too far away. So I'll bring you up closer. Okay, so I'm gonna put three. You know what? If I bluff or me away, it is serious. But I hope it'll work out so you guys can follow it. Wait on. Okay. So there's one cup of plain flour. Oi! And then I tip some on the floor. Yeah, go way back, go way back, go way back. Not on the floor, it's on the bench. So that's two. See? <laughs> there's so much. But hey, don't worry. So, so that's only three. Guys, I'm making it four. Why not? If I'm gonna make two trays, make it four. Okay, get the yeast. You know what, guys? I just put whatever I feel like, okay? <laughs> okay, not to worry. So, so there's one. Two, three, three yeast, yeah, that'll do. Three, and I'll put a little bit of sugar in here, guys. Why not? Okay. Yeah, yeah, just a tad that much, okay? And I'm so I'm gonna put two full tablespoons of the oil. Okay guys. Yeah, some people don't do it like that, but you know, why I put um, the teaspoon of oil, guys? Because I find that it, it'll make it softer, okay? Make it softer for your your buns. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna need warm milk, guys. So, with the microwave. Won't be long. So here we go. Uh, I'll put this cup of um, milk in. Okay. Because the cup is pretty big, I'll just start with. Um, So 
guys. So you get the other half, another half cup of milk. And you just add it in there. It's warm milk, by the way. Yeah, that will get that all. And then you just have to roll it out, roll it, roll it, roll it for to get everything together. Okay. And that's how it's going, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Hey! You be careful when you behave. Okay? Fuck the oil. Yeah, nah. <laughs> it's like it's trying to escape. Get in there. Oh. Let's hope this doesn't blow up, eh? But we'll just have to wait for it to keep living. <laughs> I'm laughing at the, the fit that's trying to come out. How do you think it's going, guys? Mm? Okay, let me stop it so I can push this guy down. Hey! Right. Yeah. Oh, my little texture. You know what, guys? I think that should be enough and get it, you know? Yeah. Mm. So, you have to shake the coconut cream, guys, because it, it can get, um, you know, like there's a big chunk, chunk in it, you know? So you gotta shake it a bit. And then, ouch, ouch. Yeah. See, this is a butter knife, it's a sharp butter knife. I don't know where all my daughter's knives are, so. Oh. Yeah, and then the next one. You gotta make another hole. Just to let the air in. Mm -hmm. So, I just have that ready, guys. I'll just take that off. See, here's the dough. Mm hmm. And then you have to put a bit of oil in the, in the bowl here. Ne? See? Just a little bit. And then you put it in there, right? Then you mix it around. The oil is only just so when it rises, right, it doesn't stick. And plus it helps with the, you know, with the buns too. Trust me, it will. So, I'll just put this clean towel over it. And we're going to wait for it to double in size, guys. Okay. So, we'll catch up with you later. Yeah, guys, look, you have to put a bit of, this is uh, a can of uh, coconut cream, and it's a can and a full can of uh, cold water. Okay, <laughs> stand there. And then you put a bit of sugar, right? You just, you know, have a wild guess what you think you'll like. So I think that's about, uh, okay, four. This is about four tablespoons. So guys, I'm just gonna taste it first. You know, just having a guess, like about four tablespoons I put in there, just for now. Then you stir it till you feel the sugar has dissolved.
hold guys just be on the safe side for a, for a little bit of yeah so all up that's like five big um, tablespoon okay guys I've seen people put like a whole cup so who knows maybe that's five tablespoon nah can't be but anyway I'd say five tablespoon is good for so it's a can of coconut cream can of coconut cream and one full can of water guys one full can of water and then you pour it into your bowl and then you just stir it till the sugar dissolves then you just have that ready so that goes over the all the bun after the I need to put my tongue saying that so that goes over all the buns guys when you finish doing the buns so but let me have a taste to be extra extra sure oh bomb diggity bomb diggity mm. so put that there leave it till after when we roll the buns roll the buns and pour that over it all over it like you're trying to give it a buff mm. so look here guys i've got the dough ready it's risen risen and now it's time to pop it down boom yep give it some some little punches to let the air out and then we're gonna put it onto the flour down here guys so we're gonna start making the, the buns look at that guys Ooh. so you just need the dough sometimes it just slides on its own Just thinking about how how it doesn't look roundy like the other, you know the chefs, you know the look at that, look. Why? Why you me up? <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> the main thing is gonna look okay when it's cooked, huh? And the flavour is gonna be, you know, nice. Yeah, massage if I bear. Guys, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Eh. Anyway, this is just, you know, so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, I remember helping my auntie when I was a little kid. She would ask me, you know, just to help her roll the, the bunnies. And this is what we would do. We would roll the bunnies like this for as long as we, <laughs> it was always fun too. You know? so, so that's why you have to wash, wash, wash your hands really, really good. You know, because this is what you have to do. Anyway, then you have to twist it like this, right? And then you put it in the tray. So that's that version. Yeah. So I'll do a bit more. This is the traditional um, way of doing the bang popo this way. Okay, and then you just twist it around like that, and then you put it down. Some people like they um, 
and put a bit of water there and then you just twist it around like this and then you put your finger in the water just to stick it together mm -hmm. so that should fit about free there because after you've done it right you let it uh, sit for a little bit Yeah, so this, this my, my daughter-in-law's family, they make beautiful big bubbles. To me, it's like the best ones I've ever tasted anyway. So, but they don't live close to us, so we're not that lucky to get it all the time when we want it. Okay, guys. Ooh. This is this version, right? So I'll just finish this off and then I'll show you guys the other version. Yep, this brings back very happy memories when I used to help my auntie do her bang popos. So guys, here's the second version of how you can uh, make your buns, right? See, I've done the first. Um, that's the traditional way of making it now there's another way it's like the the turn and okay this way you can cut it right so how many pieces two four six eight ten twelve okay so we're gonna need twelve pieces so that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh well, that's nine. Anyway, see, and so this is another way, if it stands up right, <laughs> yep, okay guys, You know what, I'm just going to cut this in half. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Ta-da! Whoa, just a big one. Big mama. You just make it any way you want, as long as it looks nice, you know? Looks nice for you to eat, and it's yummy for you to eat. So don't worry about what it looks like. <laughs> nah, make it pretty, make it pretty. So these are the, the twirly whirly one. This is like the scroll cinnamon. This one, I just roll it out a little bit more. Lucky last. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be all shapes. All shapes don't matter. They're all gonna taste the same, guys. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hey, look at this one. Look, this is the the really bluffle one. This one, 
and this one, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So this is what you're gonna do after, guys. So I've covered this um, this saucy up, right? So what you do, guys, is this has been this is the saucy the sauce to go over the buns, okay? Even if you don't let it rise um, again, because that will just do its job inside the. Um, oven guys do this here so if there's any spillage then we'll go into the next one <laughs> this that one there just cracks me up guys that one is like who did it which kid made it <laughs> don't worry guys it will all taste the same yeah I always like to drown um, bung bubbles, you know, because when it's done, it's going to be all like, mm -mm. yeah, honey. Yeah, before you put your buns in the oven, guys, just get um, this thing here and then just wipe over your, your buns. Yeah. And then when they're a bit risen and uh, the sauce is all ready to go, yeah, you put it inside the oven. Guys. And you put it in there until it's nice and golden brown and you can smell it, you know? When you smell it's cooking or it's cooked, then you get it out and enjoy it with a nice cup of tea. Bye guys. They're all cooked now, ready to be eaten. That's the, <laughs> that's the one I've done properly. And that's the one I wanted to, you know, big ones and small ones. All different shapes and sizes. Yeah, a little bella. So we gotta try these out, right? Mm-hmm. So, I'll get this one right on the corner here. Mm -hmm. Who likes the corner section of the me? <laughs> Look, it's cooked real nice. Yeah. Time to try it out. Have a bite, guys. So if you guys want to try this out, just make it. Not hard to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see more cooking guys, stay tuned.